welcome. We are trekking again. So we've come Hi to... Hi everyone. Yes, nice to see you there. <laughs> so um, it's Trail Trek here. And if you remember our very first Trail Trek video. Very, very first one. Very first one. We parked about four places up on the left, maybe facing that direction. And we walked that direction. We went to see Robbie Burns, uh, family grave I think in mm -hmm. Walton but this is a different one we're going to go in a totally different direction and the reason being is and I personally haven't looked up too much because I wanted to it's a ruin that's all I know it's a ruin called Yester Castle so what does that summon up in your imagination Yester Castle yesterday ah, that's what I <laughs> that's what I thought of because there's a there's a Yester estate but again all I know it's, it's, it was probably built in around the 13th century, I think 1270, I'll look it up, 1272, 1273, so very, very old. And I don't know what it looks like, but apparently it was built by a warlock. Okay, well, I don't know anything about today, as I say. Well, we'll I find out. I've not been told anything. All right, well, we'll find again, out. Again, so I can't add anything to... How have you been, though? What... <laughs> Fine, how are Fine. You well, because people ask, people say, oh, how, you? Ah, they say how, how are you doing? And right. you get a sort of go on saying, you know, nice to see you out and about and things how like that. How am I so, doing? How are you doing? Right. Well, we're both fine. Aye, we're both fit fine. And healthy. Fit and healthy. Getting there. Get, um, so, in other, in other words, because of those factors, that enables us to get out because we weren't able to get out. Yeah. Right, still wearing stupid masks in the shops. Aye, still wearing masks. Things like that. Um, because people are scared of the flu. So that's fine. That's yeah. it. If those are the rules, we but will follow them. Fairly young and healthy mm -hmm. enough, so yeah. I don't think we're in a high and, risk yeah, and bracket. We, and so we will, I think we'd be okay. Yeah, and we will maintain all laws at all times as necessary. But we still think it's silly. But that's fine. That's what democracy is about. You're allowed. You're still allowed an opinion. So we're going to have a look at this castle. But it's a nice, beautiful area. And as we drove in, you said, "Ee, what a nice area!" Because the houses are all like oldie beautiful, style. Beautiful, and it's a nice day. We have had torrential rain, like you wouldn't yeah. believe, over the last two days. Mm -hmm. There's been flooding in parts of um, Lothians. the Lothians yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, it's so, horrible to see because it um, knacks houses. That so it's about time we got a little bit of sun to dry everything off. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it just makes that wee bit of difference. So we're coming into sort of autumn now. And that, yeah, even trees though we're coming... are starting to some well some there's some brown leaves some, there. Some trees, depending on what ones, are starting to go mm -hmm. sort of brown colour and shed their leaves. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll still be able to get, I think, some nice footage on certain things. It still feels summery to me, and I'll insert some footage up here, which I'll film when we're finished talking of a house which is on my right. It looks beautiful. I've got overflown hanging oh, baskets yes, beautiful have. flowers and things like that. and it looks really really nice so i'll put that footage up there that's gorgeous isn't it lovely beautiful nice window boxes because they're hard they're hard to maintain because you've got to keep watering them and oh we'll get plenty of water here in scotland that's for sure aye aye so but anyway we better we'll, get ourselves we'll on make our a, way we'll make a move so nice to see everyone um thank you for joining us and we're gonna go okay so right goodbye take care everyone right, bye bye bye
if you paid attention to the last video, you'll know that's wood, wood sorrel. Wood sorrel, exactly. There's a big one. Not, it's not, not looking very nice. Though. I wouldn't eat that one because it's too close to the ground and you've got urine and things to worry about. But wood sorrel, so edible, tastes like lemon. So watch the other video because I'm not going to go over the same stuff a million times. Coming down the path here, yeah, there's some thistles here, but look, there's the remnants of, anyway, uh, I'll take a little one off there, of some wild Scottish raspberries. So, not, I mean, they've mainly gone, there's a, a harvestman spider, you see him? I'll try and zoom in, he's difficult to see because of his legs. In fact, as he dropped there, he's gone. But loads of raspberries, or they would have been, and they've died back now, unfortunately. And there's a bee getting the pollen, so we'll zoom in on him.
Right, eventually we've made it. Yeah. We went backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. We were like a fiddler's elbow, <laughs> but, but we're here. So meandered and in and out all the way. And look at that all the river. Look at that roof. Isn't that incredible. Look at that, there's another bit. Oh, I'll turn around because there's another bit behind, so if you bear with me. <laughs> now, can you see? It's hard to see, but we're in the middle of the shot there. Oh, the oh, contrast's off. Yeah. Alright, so what do you think? What's your first impressions of Yester Castle? So I take it was all one big castle. Maybe, about, but we've not had a look at this section well, here yet. Well, so. here's some news. Do you know who smashed it? Who? Robert the Bruce. Was he playing at? But it was for a sensible reason. He smashed it so the British, couldn't, sorry, the English couldn't use it. Because obviously the borders kept changing. We've been over that in the Norm Castle video, so I'm not going to go over that again. But look, beautiful. I'll go inside. This roof's incredible. Brilliant. And here's a good one. Look how thick the wall is here. Look at that. And then you've got the little slit. Very defensive. So you can, you can go in here. There you go. And you can fire arrows and stuff. But this is a serious piece of kit. This. Serious. So we're going to go and check the other stuff. Because obviously this is where we've come in. And I'm going to go that way. And see what we can spot. But so far, and look, there's a higher section up there. Come out a bit so you can see it. Look at that. doorway <laughs> quite a good defence look at the wall and they're always really thick these walls so let's see let's see what's through the door there's a little river down there as well two wee arches so let's see what remains of this castle up the stairs do, do, do. nice wee archway they're all small and just takes you out the other side so let's turn around and see what this looks like there you go just one great big wall Tiny wee doorway. That's incredible.
Right, we're at Yester Castle, and I hope you can hear me because this will act like a little bit of a boost. So we've just been down into the catacombs. Yeah, well I thought it looked like a chapel or something like that. Yeah, because, because it seemed to have like an escape route the, as well. The shape was always at the top of a Norman church, I know exactly what you mean, and, uh -huh. and, and ribbed all the way along. Um, and then inside there was um, a, a, a tunnel way to the right. Yeah. And then it went round, it was so full of rubble on the floor we couldn't get any further though, Yeah, so we didn't know, it looked as though when I shone the torch it went off to the right as well as the left, so... Yeah. And it's such a sheer drop down here that we can't even investigate it down there, but we're absolutely black, the two of us. Aye, so... And I was wondering why it was so dark down there and I had my sunglasses on. Aye, she was saying, it's too dark. It's getting those, very dark. How is the torch going dark? But, but you had sunglasses on, like Ray Charles. Or I think I was just caught in the moment of excitement of going down there. But did you know, did you notice as it went in, the, temper, the temperature just uh, it dropped? It went colder, definitely went colder. Because in the olden days, cold. before refrigeration, that's what people had to do. They had these yeah. sunken sort of holes where you'd keep stuff. In. Yeah, you couldn't keep ice forever, but it was certainly low enough to, to be maintained. But fantastic, yeah, we've never seen anybody. Lucky to find it because you've got a crisscross. If you are going to come here, plot it on the map first or find out where it is because you could get lost. So I don't want people to get lost. I'd like lost. to see what it was like before it's been bashed like this. So well, the, the problem is, get a picture of that, probably though. not because it was smashed. I think it was, it was probably 1273 or 1272 when I heard up here. Century. That's the real date. And then oh, the shortly after that, well, well that is the 13th century, 13th century. and then very century. shortly after that, Robert the Bruce said, nah, smash it because the English will use it when they come invading which is a sensible tactic. Um, and then 15th century, I think the family moved out. Um, I mean, there's just nothing left. And then it's now nearly part of the, the Yester estate, but that's private, so you can't go into the Yester estate, so I don't advise going that way. But this is just on a public path, public trail, public access. But it, there's so many little trails, though. You you know, you could easily we nearly got lost. We nearly got lost. We used your knowledge and my knowledge combined with looking at different maps to get here. And also there seem to be wee bits of tinfoil on trees, there's, which seem to aye, be a secret. <laughs> aye, there's secret tinfoil, which will get you here. So if you're looking... Tinsel, not tinfoil. Well, it's sort of like, it's like the, the wrapping you use around presents. Christmas presents, the silver aye. wrapping. So if you spot that, that's the secret sign. That'll help anyone who wants to get here, because other than that, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to find that, just looking at, like, wandering around. But I don't know why we animals don't use this as a permanent home. I know, I know. You It'll know, be it's ideal. cosy for them. Well, luckily, cool, don't, but luckily we don't sheltered. have wolves and bears in this room yeah. anymore, so we're all right. But I'm really enjoying it so far, I'm, and the sweat's drying up. Yeah, it's freezing okay. down there, but the sweat, because you're like this, you're oh, all you're alone. You're crouched down. You're all like that, with a backpack crunching on the ceiling, it's so, over. Uh -huh. But I'm glad we but came we're out. We're both absolutely... Aye, look the mud. <laughs> There's mud everywhere. this tree you can tell that summer is ending because look do you know what that is that's tar spot so it looks like someone's literally dripped wet tar on it and it happens to all it's actually an infection but it doesn't affect the tree it'll come back next year but isn't that interesting it almost looks burnt if you had a cigarette lighter and burnt the tree but there's a lot of them seem to suffer from this and again it just looks like someone's dropped tar on it tar spot beautiful place so we're leaving the castle now um, and we're travelling down the trails, so we are off.
Right, we're back. <laughs> and we're, we're having a rest because I, I'm dripping with sweat because you must be healthier than me because I'm dripping with sweat. No, you're carrying a silly big bag. Just it's God knows what in it. It's just like yomping in the army. You just got to get on with it. Right, so... Right, ten <laughs> kilograms of bricks in the it'll not, It'll not kill you. Right, so we're back and it, we've had a nice time. So, I'll just wait for the car to go past. So, started in Gifford, went through the Esther estate and skirted around it. And then we meandered, went, meandered and, the path. and then we went to um, the Yester path and we ended up at Yester Castle. What did you think? A lot better than I thought because I thought initially it was just that one section. Yeah, yeah. Until we walked sort of further on. Because when you first, if when you eventually find it, you see it's, it's a very small section of wall, which is 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 the Goblin Ha. Now here that means hall or can do. Mm -hmm. So there's a, that's why there's a there's a place called Goblin Ha in or whatever I, should, I, I put a picture up at the start of the video and i'll put a picture up here so that's goblin ha just meaning hall and that's the goblin hall mm -hmm. and the first one's got a vaulted roof and the reason they called it that was because the locals thought it was built so well and so quickly and that must be magic so they called it the gob goblin ha or we i would say hal because i'm geordie but goblin ha mm -hmm. so okay. that's that's where the rumor comes from about the, the owner of that being a warlock because he, they thought magic was involved so there you go so I thought it was nice, and then you go onto the main, and because you are brave, you wanted just to go down into the catacombs, and oh, we did. Oh yeah, you can't go to somewhere like that and not get in amongst the nitty gritty and the little sort of, I mean, the only reason why we couldn't go any further down was because, I don't know if there was a whole rubble. big rubble, big boulders and things, so that's mm -hmm. as far as you could go. Yeah. Um, and then when you videoed me coming out, <laughs> it was it's pitch black in that place when the oh, torch... And we got covered in like a clear... Yeah, like. and I've, I've got a wee bit of blister going on here. So uh, the shoe's off. Blister medic. No, Remember please that? don't. So the shoes are absolutely... Ah, uh, mine are a bit knacked and all. So, we've, as I said earlier in the video, we've had a lot of rain, so... Um, we have. The paths weren't too bad, considering the amount of rainfall mm -hmm. we had here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that walk. Um, it was so fun. I liked it. Are we it. going to give it a rating? Yes. What would you give that as a rating? Just um, I'll tell you something right now, because we had a wee picnic as well. But I'll tell you something right now, because I didn't realise it was going to be that other part. Without that, I would have given it an 8 out of 10, but I'm now going to give it a 9 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. And That's your highest yet? I, I know, but I'm always giving things 8 out of 10, right. 7 out of 10. But anyway, and also the fact that we didn't really see a lot of people. Yeah. We got out a wee bit later than we normally did, uh, we normally do, So It was really so good, you're right. We didn't see a lot of people, but what we did notice is anybody we did speak to said that they, they didn't think they were going to find the castle either because it really is tucked away. Quite it's a bit. very and it's not really marked on maps. If you go to Google Maps, I'll, put, I'll have a word with Google and I'll try and shift it so people can't find it because I can edit them now. But what, what needs to happen is you really need to know the, the GPS location because there's a lot of tracks where we, we had a choice left or right, hmm, left or right, left or right. So there's multiple locations where you can go wrong, unfortunately, and you need to almost track back on yourself and down mm -hmm. by the river. We would never have found that just going for a walk. No way. No. Oh, I don't no, think so anyway. No, because there's, there's a lot of very definite routes, so it's not as if it's, oh, that's used mostly, so we'll go that way. Yeah. All the routes looked as though they'd been yeah, quite that, established. Quite wide. So, so, so you give it 9 out of 10. Ah, I think so. I I'm going to give nice. it 8. The weather was out, the weather was good for us, the sun was out, so... I'm going to give it 8.5. And the mm -hmm. reason why I'm not giving it a 9 is because... And I know it's probably the time of year and the time of the type of woodland that's more of an ancient type woodland is because there wasn't that many flowers. I know it's a time of year, but there's oh. flowers elsewhere. There was let the, all the raspberries I don't were think gone. You would get a lot of flowers even in the height of the it's season. It's because you've got such an established wood. There's not a lot of light getting down to the. Mm. Yeah, we saw some uh, wood soil which I had a taste of. Um, it wasn't very strong in this area. It seems to be stronger over in Fife. I don't know whether that's a, something that anyone's noticed, but um, and we, when we were walking along, you said to me. I don't think there's many people who do our walks, which is a fair enough comment. No, so, I don't think there is. So if you do, put a comment, because I want to know. I want to know, because there's a lot of people who watch my videos. See, I think we've got a lot of subscribers from across the pond, so they're not going to do our walks. Yeah, good old USA. Yeah, that's right, yes, but they do appreciate our stuff. And then there's the Philippines, they're not going to do our walks. I get loads from so the Philippines. So I don't think there's any locals that are subscribed to us. That are doing any You'd of be our, surprised. There's, there's quite because there's quite a few who went into our um, 
Baphomet Caves. Uh -huh. And one of them said, it's just a load of chavs or something. It's not devils. <laughs> Did you see that comment? No, ah, I've never seen that. Ah, there's a good comment on there. I've never seen that. But it, I, would, I really would like to know if we encourage anybody to go out any of our walks. Because that's what I want. So, I want people to go or out. Or if they just enjoy sitting watching us going out aye. doing our walks. Uh, what's but, your reason for subscribing and watching us and whatever else? I would but, say. but if the reason is, is to laugh at how bad my videos are, I don't want to come and Or your you. jokes. <laughs> or your jokes or your singing. I should think of a good joke, actually. No, Cut. <laughs> no <laughs> jokes. Ah, no, get, please leave the stage. Right, anyway, so nine, I'm going to give it 8.5. I want to encourage other people to do the same thing because I think it's really nice. Um, nice area, nice and quiet. And like you say, there wasn't a lot of people, was there? No, it's Considering. Good. So we've it had a nice a time. It's a lovely, peaceful place. Lots of nice wee cafes for yeah. you to go to. Yeah, we're just, um, you're just close to the Eden Park for free and then just go to Make the, sure and bring your mask. <laughs> aye, this time of year, yeah. With, yeah, daft masks, so, but it's good fun. So I had a really nice time. So yep. do, you, do you think that we've covered everything there? I think so. Okay, yeah. and is there anything else you want to say to the subscribers? Thank you for subscribing. Aye, um, thank you very especially much. Especially those who have been with us from the very start. Yeah. And those of you who are new subscribers, we want to obviously keep you on the journey with us. Exactly. Hope you enjoy the videos. If there's any content that you think we need to add, should add, or should take away, Keep it, keep it to yourself. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn the camera off because we're, we're, I'm quite tired now. Yeah. And we need we lot. need it's a been, nap. It's been about six miles, almost. Ah, uh, about six miles. Nearly six right, miles, so. which is nothing to us, but no, it's been a lot of to and fro and hill climbing and... Splodging and mud. Splodging and mud. Mud, mud. Mud, aye. Mud. Mud ado about anyway, nothing. Anyway, take care. Yes, nice so goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I spend a lot of time running bouts and forwards to the cameras.